I am from Sakhnin, a town in the northern Galilee. My grandparents got married in 1947. In 1948, my grandfather was working in Haifa, and my grandmother, who was 15 years old at that time, just had a newborn baby. Uh, in April of that year, the Zionist forces occupied Haifa, and all the roads to uh, Sakhnin were closed. When the Zionist forces occupied Ma'al, which is a town five kilometers away from Sakhnin, many families decided to flee. And some neighbors asked my grandmother if she would like to join them uh, and go towards Lebanon, um, and then my grandfather would join them as soon as he could. This is what my grandmother decided to do, but on their way, my uncle, the baby, was very sick and crying all the time. So my grandmother couldn't go any further with the people, and she decided to stay with some Bedouin residents who lived along the way, and wait for my grandfather to come uh, and to decide what to do. Um, some days uh, later, my grandfather in Haifa uh, found a donkey and was able uh, to go back to Sakhnin at night via the mountains. When he got at home and saw that the house was empty, he asked around and they told him that my grandfather, uh, grandmother joined the people um, to the north. Uh, he went looking for her and found her with the people uh, where she was staying. At the same time, the Mukhtar of Sakhnin and some other notable people of the town uh, surrendered to the Zionist forces after they saw all their neighboring towns getting uh, occupied and destroyed. And this is how my grandparents were able to go back to Sakhnin. So due to the baby, my uncle's sickness, and my grandmother who chose to wait, we did not become refugees. But the town was able to survive uh, the Nakba by surrendering themselves, if that can be called a survival. My name is Dina Zbidat, a third generation of Nakba survivors.